going to be talking about in this video significant figures and these uh, rules of significant figures that are listed on the screen um, should be known. First of all, significant figures talks about um, the type of a number that's written. We're going to talk about non-zero integers. So this is any number between uh, 1 and 9, of course. So numbers between 1 and 9 um, they always count as significant figures. So here's an example of a measurement in centimeters. It has four digits that are recorded and no zeros. So there are four significant figures, or you could also call them significant digits. Um, I usually like to use the term sig figs. It's kind of convenient and quick. Now, zeros are really the only time that I think it gets complicated, and that's because there are different types of zeros. So the first type is called a leading zero. In a leading zero, these numbers that are out in front of these non-zero digits. So um, those type of zeros are not significant. So the digits that are significant include the 2 and the 5, and that's um, where we get that value from. Sandwiched zeros are the zeros that are in between non-zero digits. Um, sometimes these are called captive zeros. Um, it doesn't really matter what you call them. The idea is the same. So here we have a 1 and a 3, and then there are these two zeros in between. If there are zeros that are captive or sandwiched, then they count. So this has four significant figures. Trailing zeros are the, the last type of zero, and those are the zeros that are at the um, end of the number on the right-hand side, and they are significant only if the decimal point is shown. So here, no decimal point is shown, so the one is significant. That's it, just one significant figure or digit. Um, there is a decimal point shown here, so then all of these digits are significant. When we're looking at the, a number in scientific notation, we don't look at the exponent here. So three of those digits are significant, and here's another decimal point. So then all of these numbers, um, because the decimal point is shown, uh, are significant. Exact numbers are a different type of um, thing. They're not measured. So an exact number is something that you have counted, like if you have 12 apples or 9 pencils, you count that. Because when we're counting, we're going like this, one, two, three, four, five, there's no uncertainty because I haven't measured the number of apples. Um, it's not dependent on the accuracy of a device. So we have an unlimited number of significant figures because we have unlimited certainty. We know for sure. With conversion factors, I think we should talk about some examples. This would be an example of one conversion factor. One meter is exactly 100 centimeters. That's the definition. Another thing here. If we say that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters exactly, then that is also an unlimited number of significant figures for both. Um, the hundred here would have an infinite number of sig figs, and this would also have an infinite number of sig figs. This one, infinite, this would have an infinite number of significant figures. So other fractions, like if I say three quarters, um, that's exact, so that has an infinite number of sig figs. Or if you say the number pi, well, the number pi goes on forever, so that has also an infinite number of sig figs. There, there's also in math class some numbers that aren't measured, so they're exact. Let's look at these examples. And here I have all the rules for you again. All non-zeros count. All captive, or we call these also sandwiched, zeros count. Leading zeros do not. Trailing zeros count only if there's a decimal, so without a decimal they do not, um, and so that's what's mentioned right here. So these are both for trailing zeros. All right, so here let's assume that these are all measurements, and let's say they're all measured in grams. If these weren't measured values, it'd be hard to tell. All right, so here we have um, four non-zero digits, so all four of these are significant, so four sig figs. Here we have the 5 and the 1. The 0, does that 0 count? Well, let's look at the types. It is a sandwich or a captive 0. It's between a 5 and a 1. So yes, that does. Here we have three sig figs. Next example, that 5 counts. What about these zeros? They're at the end of the number. 
is the decimal point shown? No, it's without a decimal. So those zeros do not count. So here we only have one sig fig. So that's an estimate. Someone said 5,000 grams. It could have been anywhere between like 4,500 all the way up to uh, 5,499. We don't really know. So it's, a, it's an estimate. All right, leading zero at the beginning do not count. The five and the six do. Okay, we have a decimal point. Make note of that. Five counts. Because there's a decimal point shown, then those zeros count. Um, and here we have a five, a one, and a three, and those definitely count. The zeros that are between these non-zero digits, those count. What about this zero? Okay, it's a trailing zero. Is it trailing zero type A or trailing zero type B? Okay, uh, without a decimal or with a decimal? Okay, it has a decimal, so it does. So then we have all six of these are significant. All right, looking at this example, the five and the three count. These zeros at the beginning are leading, they never count. Captive zero here does. And a trailing zero, decimal point is shown, that does. So this is four. And then the last example here, the fives count. And then the z these zeros are all sandwiched, so all of those count. So it's also five sig figs. Numbers that are in scientific notation um, also can have a certain number of significant figures. Now, with scientific notation, big numbers have positive exponents. Notice that you do not see a decimal here, so the significant digits and here it has four significant digits. So we're going to write it as 3.046 times 10 to an exponent. That's how many times you move your decimal. It's big, so it's positive. Move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. And this has four sig figs. Okay, the original number here, none of these leading zeros count, but these three digits do count. So it has three sig figs. And if we convert this to scientific notation, it's going to be a uh, 2.26. This coefficient has to be between 1 and 10. Okay, greater than 1, less than 10. All right, so it's times 10 to a negative exponent here because this number is really small. It's less than 1. We move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. Okay. I hope that that explained everything for you today.